good friend Emma. So, okay, Emma is from the States. You guys may know her from the blog The Messy Head, so that's her blog that she runs. Emma's come over to Australia to visit me. We're in Byron right now. And you guys have just seen all of our snaps in like my last Channel C episode. Now we finally sat down to film a video that we both find is pretty important. The overview, the theme that we're trying to get at is how to find yourself and then feel comfortable enough with that self to express yeah. it. Literally just a conversation between us and talking with you guys like as if you're just here right now. I guess people would associate us as like quite confident in ourselves and like with, with, with our jobs we're putting ourselves completely out there with yeah. what we do. Being completely honest on yeah. social media. And so these are our tips. How our journey's flowed and like how we've gotten here and I think this is the sort of stuff that people should be talking about because it's important yeah. and it's not spoken about enough and like this is why it's important to us. This is why we're doing it. Do you want to start? Yeah, I'll start. Off. So I think why this needs to be talked about, why it's not a common thing is because people are so afraid that when they expose their true self that they're going to get judged. And like that's literally how you're raised. So if you stand out of the crowd, then you're an outsider and no one wants to be a part of that because everyone's just trying to fit in so that they don't get well, the finger pointed the, out. Yeah, no, that no one wants that. Why would anyone want that? And at first, honestly, when you start being yourself in a crowd of people that aren't like like you, you're gonna feel alone. But then you expressing yourself and being that person that you truly are, other people who are like you are gonna gravitate towards you. And the thing is that people always kind of ask and like people want to know is like, how do you meet the friends that you're friends with now? Like, how do you meet like-minded people and how do you do this? It's like. You have to be able to openly express yourself first mm -hmm. and be comfortable with you before you can meet these great people that are going to come into your life. Like the universe works in weird ways. They will send the people into your life when they need to come, but you need to have you first before you can be creating these amazing friendships. Yeah, with before other you can people. have real relationships, yeah. you really have to have a relationship with yourself. How do you find yourself once you've gotten past the barrier of, okay, I'm ready to be me finally? Mm -hmm. How do you find out who that is? Because you've spent so much of your life being influenced by it. Trends, or brands, just, celebrities. Like suppressing, suppressing. Yeah, it's like that inner voice inside you that's always like, you've always known what mm -hmm. you wanted to do. And then other people around you are telling you to do something else. Yeah. Like, I've always known that I wanted to write. Mm. You've always known that you wanted to like act or mm. be, you know, a character. Creating. Yeah, yeah, creating. And then I thought when I went to uni, I was like, oh, I should do psychology because that's a good degree, mm. you know? And it's just other people's perceptions, and then you take those on and think that that's who you should be to be better in their eyes. Yeah. What it comes down to, I know I've spoken about this in a lot of my videos, but social conformity. The people ruling over society, pretty much governments and stuff, and parents and generations past, there's these rules put in place to keep humans in a cage, trapped environment so nothing bad happens. And the thing is, like, it's totally fine for mass populations but for individual growth and stuff it's not doesn't apply to everyone one person's recipe for life does not apply to everyone and the the trap is when you get caught in that recipe yeah. you need to understand that you're an individual like yes you're your parents daughter or yes you're your parents son but they are not you and you are not them you're all individuals and you have to find your own path and go and don't, for it yeah. and don't think that if you're doing something different that you're failing and even like in the point that you said earlier when we were chatting, how you said it's the man like on the street that has all the tattoos and the wild outfit and like mm -hmm. he's standing out and is showing his inner self on his uh, through his outer self and he's like fearless to do it and he gets attention from that but most of the time people are like oh wow like oh, oh my god but inside they're probably thinking fuck I wish I could do that yeah I wish I could be brave enough to express myself yeah. in the same way another thing in discovering yourself is pushing yourself outside of those boundaries and get uncomfortable because. Mm. I feel... Hi, Lee. Mom always calls me at the worst freaking times. You decline. She's going to call again. She's going to call again. Ready? Wait for it. Everyone. There we go. There we go. The one thing as humans that we are conditioned to is finding our comfort spots. We are like creatures of comfort. Every We will always do the easiest option because why the frick wouldn't we? Like, it's logical. But when it comes to actually wanting to experience new things and learning and like really growing and making a change you have to make yourself uncomfortable and you have to do things that you just you you, you have to experience new things there's no getting out of your box because when you realize i mean some of the stuff that you're going to try to do that makes you uncomfortable are not going to be you and they're not going to be true to you but in finding out what's not true to you, you'll find out what, what is. Yeah, exactly. Through that, it's to some of my content on YouTube and what, like, my core message shows. So this is a good example about pushing yourself and how I try and very so slightly incorporate it. So 
As you guys would have seen, I recently started Channel C, and through these videos, like, they're not your stereotypical vlog, they're not your stereotypical freaking anything, they're a bunch of, it's like, it's done, some of it's a bit of a vlog, like, follow my life, and then the rest could just be the most random crap. I've been talking about, like, the feedback I've been getting, and a lot of it's been, like, really, really positive, and like, wow, this makes me feel empowered, and makes me want to travel, makes me want to experience new things, and then some of it's like, what is with these random <laughs> shots? What is with this? I can't, I don't understand, I'm just so confused. And I, like, when I get those messages from people that are either angry or they're, like, like mad about these yeah, videos. I'm unsubscribing. I'm unsubscribing because these shots are making my head hurt and all this stuff. I love that because the thing is, I'm not creating these videos to make everyone happy. You can easily find the essence of positivity through my videos, but the, the fact of why I make them so strange and why they're so me is that in life, we're not challenged enough. I want when people watch my videos, or what you know when people write, like, and when it, with anything, you need to be pushing and be felt. Uh, I can't even get my like that. <laughs> it's something different, and people are, aren't different. used to seeing. They're it, not so they're like, different. whoa, I don't want to see that because that has to make me. Think it makes in a you different think. way. And the thing is, we are conditioned to not want to think. So this is me saying, like, push yourself to try and think more. And like within these videos, like, I'm just using my content as an example because that's what I can easily explain. But the thing is with my videos, it's like I make them and I say I either want people to love this or freaking hate this or be angered by this or be emotional by this or happy from this. Like you you need to feel more of an emotion than just, oh that was a cool video. Yeah, I like that. And then forget about it a week or later. Or I don't get it. Like, great. You don't get it? Like figure it out. Try and push yourself. It's just trying to, yeah, push outside those boundaries. You know, because there's not one right way to do anything, you mm -hmm. need to find your right way, mm -hmm. and then you'll really find your true self. And not following that recipe. Yeah. So we spoke about it as well with the videos, it's like, on YouTube and on, with magazines and with mm -hmm. anything, it's there's so a formula. Based. There's yeah. a formula to it, there's a recipe. So example for YouTube, I can say, you know, whole video, makeup video, favorites video, get ready with me, chit chat. Whatever, you know, that that's the recipe, that's what you're supposed to follow. And, and then for the, magazines, it's like, how to talk to boys, how to get the right hair, how to period, get the right period. Oh my god, period. embarrassing sex stories, oh like god. all this crap. It's like, yeah, there needs to be challenging content out there. Stuff that actually gets you thinking or feeling something. It seems scary, but just take little steps of being like, today I'm gonna do one little thing that pushes me outside my comfort zone. Mm. Okay. I know a majority of people watching this video right now would be very creative people. Come to my channel for a reason. You've obviously seen the content. Mm -hmm. So, if you're sitting there kind of being like, oh my god, like there's this project I want to do, or like, oh my god, they're talking about this right now, and I'm, you're, you're probably sitting there thinking about this Something one thing that you're, that you're too afraid, afraid to, do. to do. And so if this is anything from us, take, take this as a big push, just to say fuck it and do it, because honestly, like real, really, why not? And yeah. who fucking cares what other people are going to say about it? Because there's going to be a handful of people that are like, I see what you're saying. And then those are going to be the people that you want in your life. Hmm. And we're going to recognize you, and that's how you build communities, relationships, build up yourself. So now, we've covered, go for it, be yourself, how you get there, how you find out who you are. And now we want to talk about ways in which once you've done those two things, you and you're ready to go. Yeah, you're yeah. ready to go, you can express yourself. Oh, it's mom. Oh my oh, god, mom! I'm trying to ring you! Why are you filming? See you Monday! Bye! Uh, so once at this point, how do you begin to express? How do you actually put this into action and get it out there? I think the number one thing that you can do is to dress the way that you feel. Makeup comes into it and clothing and jewelry. And how do you do your hair? It's what people are seeing of you. Why wouldn't you want them to see what you're feeling on the inside, I guess? Yeah. Like it seems like a superficial thing to present yourself, but it, it's, it's really not. not. It's because not. it's what they have control over. Yeah, I mean to an extent, yeah. but you make it, you need to make it you and like you need to be comfortable in the clothing and the way that you want people to perceive you. Because it's easy enough to get up in the morning and like put on a white t-shirt and, and jeans and just fit in. But like, I guess you feel different on different days. Yeah. What if there's a day that you're like, I really want to be me and express this, like, do it. Like, look, I'm wearing a purple dress with a hat and a necklace, and this is me. Like, this is me. Yeah. And this isn't everyone's style, but like, this is me expressing what I feel. When I was in high school, I had really long hair, and I always wanted to cut it. Like, I think since junior year, I wanted to cut my hair so badly, and I waited and waited and waited, because the thing is, like, long hair, 
and I didn't feel comfortable with my long hair. Yeah. And then as soon as I graduated, I cut it all off, which was kind of like because I didn't want their judgment on me, and I wish that I had done what I felt earlier. Yeah. I reckon even expressing yourself out it can be on your social media outlets. Like I think mm -hmm. that's a really important thing too because as much as we hate to admit it, Social media is a part of our lives now. Like it's, it, this is how it's progressed. Social media is one with us. So present yourself how you want to present yourself on social media. Ex expression on social media, honestly, for me, has helped me grow so much. Without my videos, without being able to like, oh, get all of that out there. I don't know. Like even when I was in a bad mood last night, I came home and sat down and rewatched one of my Channel C episodes because I know like that's how I can calm down and just relax and like enjoy because I've lived through that and it's like. That's my thing, and your thing's probably writing. Like when you just yeah. you need to sit down and write it out. A big part of expressing yourself on social media is captions. Mm -hmm. Like I think that your captions are very personal and to what you did that day. And for me, like I'm a very shy person. Like in big groups, I freeze up, and I would never be able to talk to a large group of people about what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. But when I started doing it on social media, like I started talking about things that I cared about, about veganism, about positivity, and I could post it and not feel like people were judging me and me just doing that small mm. thing like sharing my thoughts out there has really helped me share them in person. You know what freaks me out? Each day, you're, you're never going to get younger, each day you're one day older. Every single day you live, you're a day older and you're a day older. Like we, we live in years but you're every single day, that day's gone, that day's gone. You're literally ripping your days off the calendar until you reach the last day. And if you could really count the days you had left, what would you be doing? What if you had a calendar and it was like, I've got 50 days to live, but you don't know that. But like in life, right now, you yeah. don't know that. But imagine if that was your thing. Yeah, and you you're wasting spend it being somebody that you're not. You're wasting like 40 of these days. And maybe on the 10 days, you're doing something that you actually enjoy. That's a good way to put it. That even freaked me out and look yeah, up. you don't have you. to be go, go, go. No, on. that's not what we're saying. It's just pushing yourself a little bit more to find you. And by no means have we fully found ourselves. No, not either. at all. Like, it's just but we're in the process. We're in the, like everyone continues to grow and learn as you get older. You never stop learning. You never fully know yourself. You never fully are like, yeah, okay. But you need to be confident in the person you are today and right now. And maybe if you're not fully and, there yet. Yeah, and just I think it's just learning to be friends with the person that you are. Because how many of us are friends with ourselves? <laughs> exactly. You need to be able to sit in a room by yourself and entertain yourself and have your own mind. And like things about yourself, like qualities that you like about your friend. I was talking to my friend last night and we were just like to each other, I'm just, I was like, I'm so happy I'm me. And he was like, I'm so happy I'm me too. The thing is, everyone needs to be able to get to that point yeah. because I've said this in about five videos. <laughs> You're never going to be anyone else. So why are you trying to be? It's humanly and physically impossible in this lifetime. In your lifetime that you've been placed in right now, it's impossible. So you need to make it work. Yeah. And you need to enjoy it. And you should enjoy it because you have full rights to freaking enjoy your life and enjoy yourself no matter what situation you're in. That is that. Oh, I feel empowered. <laughs> I love it. I feel like we just empowered ourselves. I know, we did. It's like a reminder. You have to remind yourself of this stuff. Side topic. Isn't it so interesting how people meet you the very first thing they ask is, oh, what do you do for work? Mm. As if like that equates to who they are as who a they person. Are, yeah. See, this is what I ask people when I meet them. I say, so what do you do for work? And then they'll be like, oh, I work in a office. And then I go, what do you really want to do? What's your passion? And they're like, oh, well, I actually really enjoy photography. And I'm like, well, why, what are you doing to get there? And they'll be like, oh, well, I kind of thought about this. this, this. Like, I did a talk boy at the festival last night, mm -hmm. and I just saw his face light up. The minute someone actually wanted to know what was made inside? them yeah. tick, his face just was beaming, and he, and I, he was getting there with this thing. And I congratulated him. I was like, that's awesome. Genuinely awesome. Congratulations. Like, keep pushing. That's a great question. Like, what's yeah. your passion? That's something you should be asking yourself. Like, what's my passion? Not yeah. what's going to make me money. What am I passionate about? Yeah, what do I love? What we're trying to do as content creators, like Cardi on YouTube and me with, like, the blog and, like, my new magazine is just to talk about things that people don't talk about. And this is really one of them that we wanted to start off with. Mm. Because knowing yourself Loving yourself, expressing yourself is key to grow. What grabbed me first when we were like becoming friends was when, when I was getting interviewed for this actual magazine that she's done, was I didn't know it was going for this magazine. I thought it was going up on her blog and it was just going to be, she was like, I just want to interview you. 
and I thought it should be like a standard like interview. And then when the questions came out, it was like, this is what really got my attention. It was like, she was asking stuff about like, what inspires you? How often do you fall in love? Like, like what is the most important things in your life? And she described one of my videos that she loved and was like, so what was like, what went into that? What actually like asking things about what's going on in my brain? And that's what I love about M's content is that it's like digging deeper into someone and about expressing that because through this, I've, I've been able to then show or like express more about me, but this is a good example that I wanted to share. It's like, and this honestly blew me away because I didn't know the level of like what this magazine would be. Even reading through it myself, like there is positive affirmations throughout this whole thing, and there's playlists of music. There's like, it's real person stuff, not ads. There's no ads in this. Like, there's no, no. I'm in my own way doing my expression through my videos and stuff, but I think it's awesome also to support other people doing it, and so. I just want to put it out there that Em's got her magazine up on Messy Heads. And I genuinely do think you guys should check it out. And you know that someone's like heart and soul and passion has gone into this and there's many other people that feature and there's beautiful imagery and I commend her for this because I honestly was in shock and I don't shut up to people about it. I'm like, look what Em did! I thought I put that one in there. If you guys want to check it out, I do have my interview in it. It's my hands down favourite interview and that shoot with Gabby is my favourite. You guys love the work Gabby and I do together so if you want to see the shots properly, beautiful book with lovely writing by Anne. Check it out, the link will be in my bio. That was nice, I got really like, actually was like, oh my god, I'm actually so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, oh, so actually. Proud. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, honestly, I'm like so in love with them right now. I'm so in love right now, I could cry. It's hot, but I could cry. Honestly, you guys rock, and thank you for the continuous love and support. It, it honestly, it brings me hope for the younger generation yeah. of how much love they can spread to an individual or individuals. Anyways, we're gonna go, so I just chew the one. Okay, let's go. Bye guys. Mwah.